Almost $200 billion in Bitcoin is currently at risk. According to a recently published 2021 crypto report by Apimas LLC, a finance-based management consultancy firm, approximately 3,480,000 of the world's mined 18.5 million Bitcoin are vulnerable to attacks due to improper safekeeping. The Boston-based management firm's 36-page report extensively covered the various institutional safekeeping gaps capable of predisposing cryptocurrency owners to coin theft that are still present and in need of solutions in the world of crypto. What are the most important takeaways? One of the key takeaways from Apima's report is the need for more cryptocurrency middlemen to be established. These middlemen can take the form of institution-based custody solution providers, which provide solutions to help big investors and corporations safely store, exchange, and hold cryptocurrency. This recommendation stems from the fact that an increasing number of corporate bodies and institutions are beginning to invest heavily in cryptocurrency as part of their asset diversification strategy, following in the footsteps of Michael Saylor's MicroStrategy and electric car manufacturer Tesla. However, it appears that there are very few standard holding or safekeeping solutions designed to handle such a volume of transactions, and many of them continue to use security technologies that are only suitable for small-scale individual buyers. Traditional financial institutions are another unavoidable middleman entering the crypto space. The report predicts that in the future, many more banks around the world will begin to accept digital currency deposits transfers, and withdrawals in the same way that they do fiat money. Is the cryptocurrency world going astray? While this is desirable, Apimas goes back in time to explain that it is an unavoidable detour from the original dream of Bitcoin's pioneer creators, which was to create a space for digital currencies that stands as a solid antithesis to fiat money and the entire activities of regulation centralization. This meant that middlemen like banks, trading, holding, and insurance companies were no longer needed, making digital coins strictly a mine to have and mine to sell only type of currency. However, many years later and with a thriving trillion dollar market, it has become clear that the crypto industry must go astray because it cannot function without the role of intermediaries. This means that the next phase of growth that the crypto industry seeks will only occur when many high-value intermediary service providers begin offering safe and secure solutions aimed primarily at large corporate investors for a set transaction fee. The Different Types of Crypto Middlemen Apimos categorizes these intermediaries into three types, those that build the platform for storing coins, such as Coinbase, Crypto Finance, and Paxos, those that provide the technology behind it, such as Base Zero, Ledger, and Taurus, and those that combine both functions on their platforms, such as BitGo, Tangany, and Crypto Storage. Cozying up to the government. Another notable development is the industry's successful collaboration with government regulatory agencies. According to Apimas, countries such as Germany, France, Switzerland, Singapore, the United Kingdom, and Canada are working on or already have concrete regulations in place to shape the market's trajectory. Since the ongoing Mount Box incident seven years ago, in which over 800,000 bitcoins were siphoned from various hot wallets, hackers have successfully targeted over $50 billion in cryptocurrencies, emphasizing the critical need for security. According to Apimas, a large portion of these thefts targeted hot wallets, the type of wallet used by a greater percentage of cryptocurrency holders. This highlights the importance of risk management and insurance providers joining the crypto space as another important middleman. As can be seen, no industry is an island, 
and for the world of cryptocurrency to mature towards legitimacy and widespread legalized acceptance, it must collaborate with the government, banks, insurance companies, and improve its security function to make all investors, big or small, feel safe with it. Apimas believes that at this point, there are no more excuses. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto-related contents.